Hi everybody, this is Red Hill Eagle. Welcome back to another episode of the Invasion Angle from TEW 2020. It's Monday, week 2, June 2001. It's Monday Night Raw. The show kicks off with some in-ring action between the good father and Kay Quick. We've not used Kay Quick much. He's he's at a decent age where we could uh, start giving him a push. Of course, he one day becomes our truth. Uh, But this bout had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat. Um, K-Quick got the win in 7 minutes 7 seconds when the good father was disqualified when Ball Buchanan ran in and attacked K-Quick. No storyline or anything going on here, it's just a case of uh, one tag team partner trying to help his um, his, his uh, counterpart, his, um, or not counterpart, his partner. Um, rating 47, mm, not great. We then have an angle with uh, Vince McMahon, he's in his office and he's approached by Stephanie who has a pad of uh, papers in her hand, or a wad of papers, and she's, she just goes up to Vince and she says, Vince, we've dropped the ball here. When was the last time you looked at anybody's contract? You know, I know you've been busy, you know, with the you know, WCW, you thought you bought it, and it turns out Shane's got it, and, you know, you tr- I know there's lots going on. And, you know, you've, once again, we've got a competitor now that we need to keep an eye on, but look, look at some of these. And she hands Vince the, the list, he's going for well, there they can go. Well, I was going to fire them anyway. Oh, hang on a minute. This one we should. Re- yeah, okay. I'll, I'll I'll deal with that one. And we, yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah. Oh yes, we need them. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Didn't realise their contract was due. In fact, this this one's run out. This contract's run out. And so Stephanie's kind of like, well, there you go, Dad. You know, let's let's get back to where we should be, shall we? Can we be a bit more organised? I'll I'll deal with it, Steph. I'll deal with it. Um, that's the another angle. Rating of 59. Chris Benoit then takes on Dean Malenko. Just wanted to kind of get a match on here that would be um, a bit of a technical technical one. I think I'll put this one down as technical masterclass. Uh, Decent match. Uh, Benoit getting the win in 10 minutes 8 seconds by submission with a crippler crossface. 67 is not great, but then mm, can't complain too much really with uh, Dean Malenko where he is on the card. We then have William Regal giving a self promo, and he's talking about what a great commissioner he is. He's the, the best commissioner that this industry has ever seen, and you know he, he, he's putting on good shows. He's uh, helping everyone achieve what they can, you know, what they're capable of. Overrating of 65, but he's interrupted by Chris Jericho, and of course Chris Jericho doesn't think any of that at all. He thinks William Regal. Maybe not so much a bad commissioner, but he certainly got it in for him. And Chris Jericho challenges William Regal to a match at the King of the Ring. And if Jericho wins, William Regal must resign as commissioner. Um, Pleased with that, it's a 76. We then have some women's action. Rena Mero, Trish Stratus and Victoria in a triple threat match. We don't do many sort of multi-people matches and triple threats and that sort of thing. Gonna kind of do them sporadically, but yeah, I don't want to forget about them completely. Um, but in this one, it's an abysmal match. Uh, well, abysmal, I'm still getting 44s, <laughs> not, not completely awful. Um, Trish Stratus getting the win in 7 minutes 25 when she pinned Victoria with a Stratisfaction. Then we have a taped angle. It's a music video featuring the Hardys. This was just to get them on the card, really. Kind of, uh, don't let's not forget about them, let's keep them relevant. Rating of 55. Hardcore Holly then takes on Raven, and this was in a hardcore match. And uh, this one, Raven got the win uh, in 11 minutes 40 by Pinfall with an even flow DV, uh, DDT. I think it's a DVD then. Um, rating of 63, not great. Um, still got a couple of issues with her. Hardcore Holly is awkward. Is an awkward pairing with Molly, and they're both on the uh, different spectrum of. Uh, heel face divide as well so we'll fix that um yeah 63 we then have uh, the dudley boys in a self promo nothing really about this one either again trying to keep these guys relevant as well they're not in a storyline at the moment i don't want to say i don't have anything for them because i kind of do there's there's a plan i've got and i'm not sure whether to go with the dudleys or edge and christian It'll probably be Edge and Christian, to be honest. I think it's more suited to their characters and the plans I have. But we'll see. But a rating of 57 here for this self-promo. The APA then take on Edge and Christian. This match was um, advertised and booked last week. The APA wants ENC 2-on-2. Two two. 
a decent match that Edge and Christian get the win in 12 minutes 36 when Edge pinned Bradshaw with a downward spiral following interference from Kurt Angle. So Kurt Angle did interfere, um, which caused uh, Edge to, to get the victory. Uh, but during the match, we also had Rhino run in and attack Farouk. So, yeah, there's a, just a storyline advancement there. A uh, rating of 69. Um, Post-match, Team Marek beats down the APA, but then Benoit and Guerrero come out and make the save. Again, just kind of keep the storyline going. Um, we don't know whether everyone in this story will, will last much longer in this story, but for the moment, they're all still there, and it's an overall rating of 65. Um, backstage, we then have China, just to get approached by a uh, someone with a microphone, doesn't really matter who. Uh, it's not an interview as such, but she cuts a self-promo. Again, just trying to keep the women's division relevant. I mean, I'm not used to booking a women's division, so I know I'm not doing much with it. Um, but I do kind of want to think, when I'm booking a, uh, a show, just kind of think, let's get some kind of, uh, let's feature some of our women in there. And in the main event, Steve Austin takes on Test. And uh, it's a match which uh, produced uh, good heat and decent wrestling, and I'm pleased with that score, 82. Um, Steve Austin defeated uh, Test in 12, in, sorry, 17 minutes, 12 seconds by pinfall, but he used the ropes. And then post-match, The Undertaker comes down and attacks Triple H. Of course, Triple H, uh, sorry, The Undertaker was at ringside. I don't know why it doesn't tell you that. I'm sure it used to. I'm sure it used to tell you if someone was hanging around at ringside. Um, the Undertaker was at ringside to just make sure that Triple H didn't come down and um, interfere. But then after the match, Triple H does come down and attacks The Undertaker from behind. Um, overall rating is 71. And then, of course, everybody gets involved. So you've got Steve Austin and Test who are involved in the match itself. Kane comes down to try and help uh, The Undertaker. Um, and then Big Show gets himself involved as well with um, him at the moment in a feud with Test. And that's how we leave it. That's how we go off the air. 82 for this segment as well. This, um, I'm hoping, this, fingers crossed, could be uh, maybe not our highest rated. It could be. Let's have a look. 68. <laughs> okay, I'm, I was way off there. I guess, I guess the angles, I guess the angles got the, got the scores rather than the matches. So yeah, all right, I can kind of understand that. I mean, what we're doing with the angles is trying to get more people over. So when they are involved in matches, we get some slightly higher scores. I'm actually a bit disappointed in that, but there we go. Um, hopefully things are starting to develop a little bit more from a storyline point of view. Um, I mean, we're not doing great ratings rise in uh, ratings wise in game, but hopefully from from your point of view, from from the, the viewers' point of view, you know there are some stories now sort of developing a little bit. Um, Starting to do a little bit more with WCW as well. Got some big news coming up with that uh, in the next episode of this series. Uh, WCW, uh, Shane McMahon will announce a new commissioner for WCW. Who's that going to be? Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe if you haven't. Give me any comments below. What you like, what you don't like, what you want to see me do. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.